สถานีวิทยุสรารดม AM 1575การทูตเพื่อประชาชนเพื่อไทยก้าวไกลทันโลกหน้าต่างโลกกว้างรู้จักโลกรู้จักเราสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับพบกับรายการหน้าต่างโลกกว้างนะครับทุกวันศุกร์นะครับเป็นประจำหกโมงเย็นแบบนี้นะคะแต่ว่าวันนี้นะครับเป็นรายการพิเศษเลยก็ว่าพิเศษยังไงคะเป็นการเปิดโลกให้กว้างออกไปอีกใช่สมกับชื่อรายการของเราหน้าต่างโลกกว้างนอกเหนือจากนอกเหนือจากประเด็นที่เราคุยกันนะครับบางท่านอาจจะเบื่อไปแล้วก็ได้เราวันนี้เรามีนะครับจะคุณนภัสได้เกริ่นไว้นะครับก็คือเรามีนักเรียนแลกเปลี่ยนนะครับชาวนิวซีแลนด์นะครับจำนวนทั้งหมดเนี่ยเท่าไหร่คุณนภัสสิบสี่คนค่ะเป็นน้องน้องสิบสี่คนจากนิวซีแลนด์ค่ะครับวันนี้ก็จะมาเรียกว่ามาให้สัมภาษณ์ให้พวกเราสัมภาษณ์นะครับเกี่ยวกับเป็นโครงการแลกเปลี่ยนนะครับซึ่งจัดขึ้นเป็นปีที่หกแล้วนะครับเป็นโครงการไทยนิวซีแลนด์นะครับ language and cultural exchange program นะครับเป็นโครงการแลกเปลี่ยนทางภาษาและวัฒนธรรมค่ะทางนั้นวันนี้เราจะต้องดําเนินรายการเป็นภาษาอังกฤษนะครับโอเคเริ่มเลยไหมคะเริ่มเลยคือขอสวิสวุ้นแปลภาษาวุ้นแปลภาษาเนิดนึงค่ะมาเป็นภาษาอังกฤษโอเคค่ะ so welcome to our program today at Saran Room Radio um just to li- to give you a little bit about a peek into our what we'll be talking today so we have a handful of young guys and girls from New Zealand with us yes คุณนภัสและเด็กอ Um, 14 yeah. high school students who have been living in Thailand for about three weeks now, mm-hmm. um, I believe, and um, we are delighted to have them here today at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Mm-hmm. And, however, but before meeting all of them, let us give you just a brief background of, of the program. Of the program. Okay, so they are here for the sixth. Um, Thai New Zealand Language and Cultural Exchange Program here in Thailand. This has been organized by the Thai Embassy, Royal Thai Embassy in Wellington, New Zealand, since 2013. So maybe this sixth year yeah, already. Yeah, it, it has reached its sixth year. Mm-hmm. So it's um, it's quite um, it's not a new program. Mm-hmm. So it's been um, going on for the last six years. Mm-hmm. So um, we have, I think we have got a. Uh, Uh, a good group of alumni um, um, from from, sure. from this program. So the the main o ob- uh, uh, the objective of this program is to promote the connection and good relations um, between Thailand and New Zealand at the people level, mm-hmm. especially the youth of both nations. Yes, and in the program there are, as you said, because it involves youth mm-hmm. and students, so there are host schools and host families, and these. Um, host schools and host families play a crucial role in promoting um, knowledge and understanding, as well as good relations, as k u n a p a t has just said, mm-hmm. between Thai students and exchange students from New Zealand. Okay. It is hoped that um, it will allow citizens from New Zealand uh, to gain more knowledge and understanding uh, and ver- of the various dimension mm-hmm. uh, of Thailand. So at the same time, the program helps to uh, open up world views for Thai students and host family, of course, through language and cultural exchanges. So what are in the program for them? I mean, they have been here since 12 of January. Mm-hmm. So this is coming to the the end of their program. Um, Each of them, first, when mm-hmm. when they arrive after they arrive Thailand, they will have to attend classes and participate in cultural events in their secondary school. So in Thai school, in different schools, um, throughout the period of four weeks from 13 of January to um, 13 of February, mm-hmm. and they stay with their host family also. Wow, that sounds really exciting because mm-hmm. I mean each person will have each student will have a. a Kind of a different experience mm-hmm. because they stay in the f- different family and different schools. Mm-hmm. So um, after the break, we'll be meeting the um, 14 students um, from New Zealand, and um, so we'll meet you after the break. Okay. <laughs> นะครับเป็นอาหารของโลกไปแล้วต้องบอกอยู่นะว่าว่าเชฟเดินทางไปมหาอะไรต่างประ
เพศเมื่อ25ปีก่อนแล้วก็โชคดีมากได้มีโอกาสเดินทางไปเผยแพร่อาหารไทยมากกว่าสักประเทศทั่วโลกนะฮะเพราะฉะนั้นการเปรียบเทียบอาหารไทยเมื่อ3เมื่อ20กว่าปีหรือ30ปีที่แล้วแล้วกับเนี่ยต่างกันโดยสิ้นเชิงนะครับวันนี้เนี่ยในนามคนไทยทุกคนเราภูมิใจนะฮะภูมิใจมากที่อาหารไทยหรือไทยคูซีนของเราเนี่ยเป็นเป็นตัวท็อปซีคูซีนของเราอาหารไทยในสมัยก่อนที่เราทําในต่างประเทศค้าสุดยอดคือคนต่างชาติซึ่งสมัยก่อนเขาไม่สามารถรับรสชาติแบบเดบทุกวันนี้ได้ชนะแต่นี้เป้าหมายคือทุกคนเมื่อรู้จักแล้วแต่รู้จักมากมากขึ้นอยากเจอของแท้มากขึ้นอยากเจอเดิมมันยังไงวันนี้ในมุมมุมเนี่ยอาหารไทย back to the basic กลับมาหาออริจินัลทัวร์ไทยสุดทัวโลกนั้นเนี่ยไม่เฉพาะอาหารไทยไปเป็นงานของโลกแต่อีกนิยามหนึ่งซึ่งทุกอย่างได้มองคือประเทศไทยในเรื่องของ raw material ต้องบอกเลยว่าดีสุดอันดับต้นของโลกว่าอินดูเดียนของประเทศไทย Welcome back to the to the program and um, we'll start with the first Um, basic questions for yeah. all of you. So, um, just please briefly introduce yourself and um, say what school in Thailand have you been attending. So we start from here. From, from here. Okay. From here. Hello, my name is Justin. Um, I have been in Sakon Nakon Province, and I have been attending Tat Narai Wittaya School. Mm-hmm. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Kaylee. I've been attending Montfort College in Chiang Mai. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Nikita, and I have been attending m u n y a n g in p u a in the province of Nan. สวัสดีครับ My name is Christian, and I've been attending the Udom Suksa School in Bangkok. Oh, oh that's, that's that's great. That's a mixture of of schools in. Um, that is part of of, Bank, of Thailand, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's start with Nikita. So how did you learn about the program, and what inspired you to to join the program? Um, so I first learned about the program from my cousin. Her mm-hmm. name is Georgia, um, and she actually came on this trip last year, ah. and she told me about all the amazing times she had mm-hmm. and the experiences and. Once the opportunity came up for me, I knew I had to give it a go. Mm. Okay. So, how do you find about program? Uh, the program is absolutely amazing. Um, I have found I've made so many connections that you know I didn't actually realize until I had to say goodbye to them today. <laughs> um, I learned so much, and I got to really immerse myself in Thai culture. Mm. Okay. So, have you um, have you ever uh, known about Thailand before before you you came here have you been to Thailand before? Actually, I have. Mm-hmm. Um, I was lucky enough to come on uh, what we'd call an expedition mm-hmm. last year to Thailand uh, with a company called Road Challenge, and we came to came to Bangkok and we got to travel all over Thailand, Chiang Mai, um, k e n c h e n a b u r i places like Khao Phai Pass, and uh, the aim of the trip was to. Help us experience travel uh, at a young age, so we are capable to do it uh, if we wish when we are older, um, and to help the community. So we um, we got into things like community pro- projects in schools mm-hmm. and taught a bit of English, which actually inspired me to apply for this trip. Oh, okay, that's very that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so next, we turn to um, Justin. So um, what about you? Have you been to Thailand before? No, I haven't been to Thailand. This is my first time here. So. Um, As is the first time, um, what sort of things that? Um, so first of all, what is your first impression about Thailand before you came here, and what um, throughout the program? What are the things that sort of amazed you or make you feel that this is something unique about Thailand? Well, one of the first things I noticed about Thailand is Thailand has a lot of people living here. Mm-hmm. In New Zealand, we just have about 4.5 million people. And in Bangkok, there are over 10 million people. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just a whole bunch of loud noise, and the traffic was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> But 
and what I thought was going to happen was that the people would be very indifferent and distant, but I, what amazed me, it was completely the opposite. Everyone was very nice and um, welcomed me into their families, into their homes, uh, asked me if I had um, dinner, if I had had food, and were just generally very nice people to talk to. Have you been enjoying um, uh, a various types of Thai food so far? Yes. <laughs> what are the, 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 some of the dishes that you have, have tried? Well, every morning I have sticky rice mm -hmm. and That's whooping. one of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just generally mm -hmm. a lot of different things. I've just been trying everything I could. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So stick with the impression. What about Kristen? What is your impression about Thailand? Uh, very hot. <laughs> of course. And busy and really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So was it different from what you have learned before you came here? Um, yeah. Well, cause, you know, you hear all the stories about how amazing. I've talked mm -hmm. to people who've been to Bangkok and how amazing it is, and you know how many people are there and how huge it is. Mm -hmm. But you don't really get a full, you know, grasp mm -hmm. of it until you're mm -hmm. actually here. And you're in the traffic, and you're in the heat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you're the only one who study here in Bangkok, mm. while others are in other provinces. Yeah. And so, so have you been to other provinces or other parts of Thailand? I, I was lucky enough to go to Phuket for oh. last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> very good weather to go as well. The, the yes. climate is, is nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Yeah. So um, we are turning now to um, Kelly. Um, so what are some of the activities or programs that so you, you have been looking forward to? I mean, throughout the program, what are some of the um, activities that do you just think that you can't miss it? Yeah, throughout the program, I've done so many amazing activities. Like I've been treated amazingly by the school and my family. It's been so amazing. But a highlight for me was definitely going with my host family to the Patara elephant farm in Chiang Mai. Oh. It was so amazing just being able to feed the elephants and like interact with them and see them in their natural habitat, just in the in the land, enjoying life. Yeah, it was mm. so amazing. Yeah. Did you also try um, riding the, the oh. elephant as well? It, or yeah. showered? Yeah, we definitely <laughs> gave them a bath. <laughs> yeah, we took them down to the river and like gave them a good scrub. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Got squirted by water quite a few times. Yeah, oh, nice. it was amazing. I, I heard that the scene. elephant is very nice animal yeah. and very calm. Yeah, so calm. Yeah. It just sat there and we we're just watching it. I was, I was quite nervous because mm -hmm. I thought it would like want to get up and like move around. Yeah. And yeah, no, it was just loving it. Oh. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, so um, these are some of the, some just some of the experience mm -hmm. that we have heard from the the first four yeah. of our 14 um, students here um, today with yeah. us in the studio. Um, For the next break, mm -hmm. we'll meet another four um, students from New Zealand. So thank you very much, four of you, and you have your enjoyed. เป็นไทยในไทยที่ยืดหนุนค่ะไม่ได้อยู่ที่หน้าตาเดียวเมื่อก็ใส่ผ้าไทยต้มหมูไทยที่ออกไทยๆแต่ว่าที่สำคัญ
ปัญหานี้มิวคิดว่าเป็นอะไรที่ค่อนขนาดร้อนกันเพราะว่าไม่ว่าประเทศเรากําลังพัฒนาตลอดแต่ว่าเรื่องนี้ก็จะหนักขึ้นด้วยค่ะซึ่งเป็นอะไรที่ผิดจริงๆสถิตินี้ต้องลงแล้วตอนนี้มีมีโอกาสได้พูดคุยกับ UNFPA ไปแล้วแล้วได้เรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับสิทธิของเยาวชนค่ะว่าจริงๆแนละ้วเมืองไทยเนี่ยมีสิทธิที่ยอดเยี่ยมจริงๆสําหรับเยาวชนแต่ว่าหลายคนยังไม่รู้สิทธิของตัวเองเราเมียคิดว่าสําคัญมากค่ะที่เยาวชนเนี่ยควรจะรู้สิทธิของตัวเองจะได้รู้ว่าเขาสามารถทําอะไรได้บ้างเขาสามารถหาข้อมูลที่ไหนได้เขาสามารถทําอะไรบ้างค่ะเพราะว่าถ้าเรารู้สิทธิเนี่ยก็สามารถเติบโตไปได้อย่างดีค่ะนะะแล้วก็มีโอกาสที่จะเป็นกระบอกหลังให้คนบางแหล่ที่เราอยากจะเปลี่ยนแปลงที่เราอยากจะช่วยเราคิดว่าสําคัญมากค่ะที่เราต้องเป็นตัวอย่างที่ดีเพราะว่าเยาวชนหลายคนก็จะหันมามองมาฟังหันมาทําตามเราคิดว่าไม่ว่าเราจะทําอะไรเล็กๆน้อยๆเราก็สามารถเปลี่ยนแปลงอะไรได้Okay, so welcome back to the program today. We are here with five students from um, six Thai New Zealand language and cultural exchange program. Welcome, you all. Welcome. <laughs> so please let's introduce yourself just briefly about yourself and your school, the school that you have attended during your stay here in Thailand. So start with you. Alana. Um, my name's Alana, and I attended Nongbua p a t i a r i k School in okay. Nongbua Lumpur. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. My name is Hannah. I attended Princess c h u l a p o r n Science High School, p i t s a n u l u k My name is Kingston Webb, and I attended uh, b u r a p a p a t a n a s a t School in p a t i a My name's Andrew, and I attended b e n j a m a t r a c h u t i p School in c h a n t a b u r i Uh, my name is Zach Jensen, and I attended Roy at Whittier High School. Oh, okay. So oh. you've been in different school, right? Mm. Okay. And none in Bangkok, right? No, nope, none yeah. of us in Bangkok. Okay. So let's start with Alana. Would you share with us about your school life in Thailand, and what is it, was it different from school in New Zealand? So in Thailand, everyone at school was really, really friendly and made me feel very welcome. Um, there was always someone to take photos and want to know all about you and learn some English. Uh-huh. Uh, school in Thailand is very different to New Zealand. So, in New Zealand, uh, school hours are much longer, and mm-hmm. we also have school on Saturdays. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> But um, the same math and science on Saturday. Uh, so, oh, so in our school, we only study six subjects, uh-huh. and nothing's compulsory. So we choose all our subjects. Whereas here they have to study everything, so oh. we'll do each subject four times a week. Yeah, very interesting. We were thinking back of our, you know, our school lives back many years ago in our k u n a p a t Yeah, <laughs> many many years. <laughs> many years ago, yes. <laughs> so um, you make a lot of friends here in Thailand. Yes, definitely. Yeah, everyone was so friendly. Okay. So we go now to Hannah. Um, now would you share with us? Now returning from schools to host families now. So um. Would you share with us um, stories about your host family? How do you find um, how do you find your host family, and what is your like favorite moment uh, being with them? Definitely, my favorite thing about my host family is we had a I had a two year old host sister named mm-hmm. June, and she was adorable. Mm-hmm. And every day uh, I w- that I came home because I stayed at boarding school mm-hmm. during the week on the weekends when I came home, I always looked forward to seeing her. Because I've mm-hmm. never cool. had sisters or younger siblings before, it was definitely a new experience, and it was definitely very, very <laughs> awesome Ooh. looking after her and you know playing games. And I, I'm gonna miss her for sure. Yeah, and she she would be missing you all the time. <laughs> I, I yeah, hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I left her a couple of toys, so hopefully she won't, <laughs> she won't be too bad. But Maybe. everyone, yeah, everyone in my yeah. host family is really nice, and my host mum was an amazing cook. Oh, she was very right. good at cooking. 
So did you also enjoy a lot of you know different dishes? Um, what are some of the dishes that you local dishes? My my favorite food that my host mom cooked was cow mudang. Oh, I see. yeah, I love that she did it very well. Um, and then I tried to have it again at my boarding school canteen, and it wasn't the same. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like her cooking. Okay, so let's move to Andrew. Okay. Um, would you share with us about the activities? Um, I've read through the program. Uh, I've heard that you've been doing a lot of activities um, during uh, the trip. So would you share with us the, the activities that you have attended and what is your favorite one? Okay, um, during my time in Chanterbury, I was lucky enough to do lots of activities. Um, the first weekend I arrived, we traveled around Chanterbury and looked at local sites. And we also traveled to the beach and went on the banana boat, which was fun. Mm -hmm. And then the second weekend when I was there, we went to Gok Chang Island yeah. and stayed out there for two nights, which was lovely. We got to do some snorkeling and I also got to ride an elephant out there, which was great fun. And then the next weekend after that, um, we traveled to Chiang Mai. We went through Bangkok to Chiang Mai, we drove. That was great fun. I got to see a lot in Chiang Mai and um, very beautiful place up there. And then the last weekend I got to just travel around Chanterbury a bit more with my family and get to spend some more time with them before I leave back yeah. home. So what about the activities in, in school? Um, is there any um, cultural activities or language activity that you've attended? Uh, yes, I went to a lot of Thai music classes and um, learned some songs. I also went to Thai dancing classes oh. and Thai language speaking classes. So how do you find it? Yeah, it was great fun. <laughs> Especially the dancing part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, Zach, now we are turning to you. Yes, yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been to... Um, like him, do you have been to many places so far? Um, yeah, well, my host family were amazing. They took me around to quite a few places. Um, like one for one day, we went down to Surin and went to see elephants. And I got to ride an elephant with my host brother, uh, Pibang, and that was that was really cool. And we also went to Buriam, Buriam, I think. Yeah. Buriram. Buriam. Buriram. Sorry. Right. Um, yeah, and we went and saw the, the big football stadium and ah, I got a football yeah. shirt yeah. and then we went and saw this, um, the motorbikes afterwards racing and that, yeah, that was really exciting. Um, just um, two days ago we went down south to, oh, it was a couple of hours down south from Bangkok, it was Ka'am? Cha'am. Cha'am. Cha'am, yeah. Um, yeah, and we went to the beach for one day and that was beautiful and then we went to the um, water park the next day. Right. Yeah. In Charm, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It was oh, it's quite quite a few water parks in yeah. that region. Oh, I believe. Yeah. yeah. That so have sliders yeah. and splash. <laughs> yeah. okay. Lots of fun. Yeah. And what is what would be your favorite one to recommend to others if you were um, to Oh uh, I love Chaam. Cha yeah, mm -hmm. that was beautiful because I love the beach, so Right, right, yeah, yeah great. Okay. So let's move to Kingston. Um what do you think about Thai culture and of course Thai food? Have yeah. you tied many dishes like like others? Yeah. Um, well, when I first got here, uh, the first week, one of the first dishes I tried was the rice with the pork with the skin on it. Still. Pork with skin. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I had that, and I was, and the it had basil leaves in it too, and I was just kind of eating that every day, <laughs> and it got kind of boring. And I thought, well, I'd better try you know different types of food. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think a couple of weeks ago, my host family we just stopped randomly on the street. And um, we got out of the car and we went and sat down at this place and it was like chairs and like five-year-old chairs, like mm -hmm. little plastic chairs. And mm -hmm. I was like, this doesn't look very <laughs> advertising. And they um, ordered me, yeah, Khao Mu Dang, like mm -hmm. um, Hannah had. And honestly, it was the best thing I've ever eaten. Oh, it was, the really? sauce on it was <laughs> so amazing. And, it, you know, it was just street food, but it was so much better than anything else I ate, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I got myself a recipe to make that, but I don't think I'll be able to make it as good. Yeah. Um, but other things I liked were the uh, pad kapal. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and that's uh, one one of the we call it national dishes. National dishes. dishes. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. all of us eat them when when we cannot think about any other that, food to eat. Yeah, like, <laughs> that too. Um, and also the pad siu. Pad siu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. so with the fried noodles. Yeah. With soy, soy sauce. sauce. 
Yeah, that was very good. Um, I also, in school, I did a bit of cooking. I made, um, uh, what was it? Tom Yum Gum. Uh huh. Um, which was a bit too spicy for me, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, um, also made Pad Capal there, so. Yeah, no, I, I love the food, and it's so yeah. much, so much better than New Zealand food, I thought, so. <laughs> yeah. So, because Thailand, we are very famous in food and also street food. Street food Have you tried yeah. street food yeah. around Thailand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. yeah, so I'm um, like basil and basil with pork and 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 pasiu. If you like uh, uh khao mu dang, you will be interested in khao mu crop. It's a crispy pork Ooh, similar to to, to to khao yeah. mu dang. Yeah. That's yeah. the skin. Yes. That's yeah. The yeah, skin yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crispy skin. So these Ooh. are the dishes that are on the street so they are they are street food and mm -hmm. so you can have them whenever you're hungry <laughs> so well yeah that's the um the five um other students from new zealand but stay tuned because after the break we'll have four more yes um from well, actually five more okay five more from from the um the the um participants mm. of the exchange program okay so Julia, thank you very much for joining us thank, thank you. you for having thank us you. thank you <laughs> เป็นอะไรเป็นอะไรที่ยืดบนค่ะไม่ได้อยู่ที่หน้าตาอย่างเดียวเมื่อก่อนจะใส่ผ้าไทยต้มหัวอะไรที่ออกไทยทานแต่
Um, I'm Hannah and I went to Satri Phuket School in Phuket. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The beach school, like the um, <laughs> school in a tourist attraction area. So um, yeah, we'll be um, starting with um, Liam. Um, so what are part of the um, New Zealand culture or stories that um, you have shared with your friends in Thailand. Uh, uh, yeah, um, well definitely straight away the first thing they wanted to know about was uh, slang. Mm -hmm. So all the, the, uh, the new, especially in Plymouth slang, so there was the the, the shucker, oh, the rad dude and the shucker and you go like that. Oh. <laughs> it's like, and you got the, the handshake, just like bring it in, my oh. boy. <laughs> it's like, what's up dude? Just all that, all that slangy type mm -hmm. stuff. So we went over that, did it on the whiteboard, showed them all the all the New Zealand slang, mm. and then also um, I, uh, the New Zealand, well, the Mal New Zealand Maori haka, which mm -hmm. is the uh, indigenous uh, New Zealand More dance. Uh, dance, and it's for males only. And it's uh, I taught them how to do it, and mm. they they were quite uh, surprised at first how it, how it went, but when they learned it was really cool. So and yeah, and I also brought food over, so mellow puffs and. Pineapple lumps, Jeffers. Oh. Oh, you got anything else to add? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I taught them, you know, if we have a friend or something, we go, hey, bro, or hey, cuz. It's kind of ah. shortening cousin and brother. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just tight. Yeah. Just, oh, like, if you're out the back and you just get a barrel, just, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a little rad, dude. Surf, surf sling. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, gave them. Gave, Dove into the cuisine right. a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did your friends teach them t teach you about Thai slang or oh, Thai yeah, plenty, culture? Plenty. Uh, low explicit language, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that was about all they they offered to teach me. Just uh, yeah, inappropriate words. Oh, okay. so we have to be like, on a oh, <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the first yeah, in you know okay. every language. Uh, so we moved to Annie. Oh. Uh, what are parts of Thai culture or things about Thailand that would, did you would like to share with your friends and family when you go back to um, New Zealand? I think I'd like to teach them some Thai cooking, like ah. maybe some time with uh -huh. pa uh, papaya salad and try the other ones, but um, I can. And also, I think that I just want to tell them what an amazing time I had and mm -hmm. about all the amazing activities I did because I think it would be really cool if they can go over to Thailand as well and experience the culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the same questions with Madison. Yeah, I definitely think um, everything that Annie said and also just letting them know about the amazing hospitality of all the Thai people. You know, everyone's so friendly, inviting you into their homes, giving you free food wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been really amazing to see everyone. So I think definitely sharing that with my friends and family back in New Zealand. Mm. Okay. Um, the, in, in the last break, we discussed a lot about Thai food. So what mm. is your opinion about Thai food, all of you? Spicy. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah, say yeah. one one word. Yeah, one word. One word. One word. So oh, yeah. pit, pit. Spicy. Spicy. Pit, pit. Pit. Oh, pit. okay. Same. <laughs> I think it's good. It's yeah. spicy, but I still really like it. Yeah. And I think after the three weeks, you get used to the spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The higher tolerance. Of yeah. Well, maybe not spice. Maybe random. <laughs> <laughs> what is, so what I am I eating? <laughs> oh, I think it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. It's been really good. Do you have favorite um, dishes? That's how I love Kenom Croc. Oh, so yeah. Damn. So I love that too. Oh. <laughs> the coconut cake, right? Yeah. Coconut. yeah. Especially okay. when you eat it in the coconut morning. Pancake. It's it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I had Tell a, me about it. I had crocodile and crickets. That was interesting. Crocodile tastes a lot like chicken, so. Oh. Oh. Nice. Uh, oh. You've tr you've tried that. Mm. Oh. Okay. Jota key. Oh. oh. He caught it. No. <laughs> no. He caught it. No. He caught it. No, it he caught it. Really? Yeah. It was and a jump on the back. Restaurant. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, call me Steve Irwin. <laughs> what about you? It's so hard to say because we had so many different types of food. Um, I did really like like pad thai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. So the uh, pork and sticky rice mm -hmm. uh -huh. is really good on the street. We have it for breakfast most mornings, and mm. it's really, really nice. Pop sticky rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so be turning to Hannah. Um, so would you recommend your friend to, or your friends to join this program? Maybe next year. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really cool thing for them to do. Yeah, I'm so going to try to get everyone I know to apply. <laughs> And like Daniel and Liam were from th the same school in back mm. in New Zealand, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So would you, um, so would you be um, recommending friends from your neighborhood and you know your schools nearby? And what yeah. what would you, what would you be telling them? Yeah. So I'll talk to like all of my friends at school and just people from school who I know would be interested in this. Um, yeah, and I'll just tell them about what I did this year and what a cool time it was. Yeah. I think also mm. with New Zealand uh, students especially they're quite oblivious of mm. uh, Thailand and the experience mm. you can actually get off trips like mm. plenty of people present about trips and they say how amazing it was because it was but majority of kids just blow it off they don't really care mm. but they, so hear, you, they hear amazing enough mm. that amazing yeah. doesn't have the same substance you gotta like yeah. have some spice mm. to it to actually get them to <laughs> 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 Do you yeah. know, pet, yeah, yeah. You like that? I think by um, telling them actual stories about like what it was like mm -hmm. here makes much more of a difference because then they can like put themselves in my shoes and mm -hmm. imagine themselves coming here. Yeah. Also, I think heaps of people travel to Thailand as tourists, but it's much more mm -hmm. amazing to mm -hmm. stay with a host family because you're not seeing the tourist side of Bangkok yeah. or the tourist side of Thailand. You're seeing how Thai people really live, so you're really experiencing the culture. Yeah, it's a really unique experience that you can't do, like when you've left school. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so um, thank you very much for um, coming here and sharing all your experience and of course interesting thoughts. And um, you always said you'd be recommending friends, so we hope to... Um, we hope to see the next batch um, next year. <laughs> yeah. Wow, the next yeah. batch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we yeah. hope you enjoy Thailand. We'll the fire. Yeah, for the rest you. of your stay in Thailand. <laughs> how, how long will you be staying in Thailand for? for uh, five, six more days. Yeah, oh. we'll leave on the 13th. Days, then we ship out. Oh, yeah. okay. We ship out for the factory. Deported. What is the next what, batch what, comes in. Oh. <laughs> 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 so you're looking away. forward to uh, going to any places after this? We're going on a dinner cruise tonight, so oh, nice. that's yeah, looking okay. good. Yeah. Yeah. We've got quite a few cool activities planned for the next really week. Really yeah, okay. looking forward to okay. Thai puppetry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're doing a um, tuk tuk tour as well. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so you're now like all back together in one group now, right? Yeah. 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 So you finish school, going yeah. to school, and yeah. then you enjoy the activities together for mm. the last week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed them. Thank and you. thank you very much. Thank you, Shaka Bro. Bye, bro. Bye, bro. So um, that's it. That's the end of the program. And um, วันนี้นะครับก็จบรายการเราลงนะครับด้วยสนุกสนานมากจริงๆน้องๆทุกคนน่ารักมากนะคะแล้วก็หวังว่าโอกาสหน้าเราจะได้มีโอกาสมาสัมภาษณ์น้องๆในรุ่นหน้าอีกเป็นรุ่นที่เจ็ดนะคะที่เจ็ดนะครับสำหรับวันนี้ดิฉันนภัทรดำขำแล้วก็คุณสุรชัดการจะโอโอรานสิริดูชาพูดผิดเลยพูดชื่อคุณสุรชัดตื่นเต้นนะครับตื่นเต้นใช่ต้องขอลาไปก่อนแล้วก็พบกันใหม่ครั้งหน้าสำหรับวันนี้สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ See you next time. คำนี้อย่างมุกผมเนี่ยอาหารไทย is not only for Thai people. อาหารคือคือ world cuisine นะครับเป็นอาหารของโลกไปแล้วต้องบอกเลยนะว่าว่าเชฟเดินทางไปทำอาหารไทยในต่างประเทศเมื่อ25ปีก่อนแล้วก็โชคดีมากได้มีโอกาสเดินทางไปเผยแพร่อาหารไทยมากกว่า30เทศทั่วโลกนะฮะเพราะฉะนั้นการเปรียบเทียบอาหารไทยเมื่อ3เมื่อ20กว่าปีหรือ30ปีที่แล้วกับวันนี้เนี่ยต่างกันโดยสิ้นเชิงนะครับวันนี้เนี่ยในนามคนไทยทุกคนเราภูมิใจนะฮะภูมิใจมากที่อาหารไทยหรือไทยคุยซีนของเราเนี่ยเป็นเป็นเวลท็อปทรีคุยซีนของโลกไปแล้วอาหารไทยเมื่อสมัยก่อนที่เราทําในต่างประเทศลูกค้าจะคือคนต่างชาติซึ่งสมัยก่อนนั้นเขาไม่สามารถที่รับรสชาติแบบเดือบทุกวันนี้ได้ใช่ไหมฮะแต่วันนี้เป้าหมายคือทุกคนเมื่อรู้จักแล้วแต่จะรู้จักมากขึ้นมากขึ้นอยากเจอของแท้มากขึ้นอยากเจอไอ้จ้างเดิมมันเป็นยังไงวันนี้ในมุมมองผมเนี่ยอาหารไทย back to the basics 
กลับมาหาออริจินอลคนไทยโลกนั้นเนี่ยไม่เฉพาะอาหารไทยไปเป็นอาหารของโลกแต่อีกนิยามหนึ่งซึ่งผมอยากให้คนได้มองคือประเทศไทยเนี่ยในเรื่องของ raw material ต้องบอกด้วยว่าดีที่สุดอันดับต้นๆของโลกเพราะว่าอินดูเดียนของประเทศไทยไม่ใช่เขาไปทําแค่หาวันนี้ไปเข้าอานูไปเป็นเครื่องดื่มไปเป็นฮอคเทลไปเป็นม็อกเทลไปเป็นสมุนไพรอย่างอื่นนะครับการที่ดันให้เป็นอาหารไทยเป็นอาหารของโลกนั้นเนี่ยสำหรับผมวันนี้ผมว่าผ่านแล้วเรานําเสนออะไรฮะเคี้ยวหวานต้มยำมัสมานผัดไทยอยู่แค่เนี่ยวันนี้เราต้องนำเสนอว่าเฮ้ยในอาหารท้องถิ่นหรือโลคูคุยซีนนะครับของเราเนี่ยมันมันน่าสนใจเยอะเพื่อนผมเปิดร้านอาหารอีสานที่ซิดนีย์อาหารอีสานเลยนะไม่ใช่มีแค่เชียวหวานไม่ขายขายอาหารเลือกน้ําตกส้มตามบ้าต้มแซ่บข้าวเหนียวไก่ย่างขายอย่างนี้เลยแล้วก็คนเยอะนะเพราะฉะนั้นอาหารไทยของเราเต่อไปเราต้องทําให้คนของโลกเฮ้ยมันมันยังมีอะไรเยอะมากมายที่เราจะได้สับสนกันแล้วก็ไปเผยแพร่ต่อไปอยากจะให้กำลังใจนะครับสำหรับคนที่หนึ่งก็ยังยังไม่ได้ประสบสำเร็จหรือกับคนที่อยากจะเข้ามาในอาชีพเชฟอ่านไทยเพราะว่าคุณมาถูกทางแล้ววันนี้เนี่ยอาชีพเชฟอ่านไทยไม่มีคำตกงานแล้วผมคิดว่าไม่มีคนชาติไหนที่ทำอาหารไทยได้ดีที่สุดเท่าคนไทยเลยแต่คนไทยเราจะต้องเป็นรู้จริงเพราะนั้นก็คิดว่าเราจะต้องไปเพิ่มเติมคนใฝ่รู้ศึกษานะครับแล้วก็ฝึกฝนเพื่อเพื่อให้เชี่ยวชาญในรด้านอาหารไทยผมว่าถ้าเกิดทุกคนทําอย่างนี้เนี่ยรับรองว่าไม่ผิดหวังประสบสำเร็จทุกคนแน่นอน